Okay, it's me after O to O initially. It said these are just going through chargers and different types. And uh, I'm not too sure what it's called USB 1 or USB 2. Yeah, I can't remember. And stuff like that. Yeah, uh, but you notice these two USBs. One is uh, looped and then even oblong. And this one is uh, almost elongated trapezium. So this is uh, almost oblong, but it's like triangulated at the top. Yeah, come into focus. Trying a little, little slot in the middle. This has a bigger slot all the way across. Yeah, big gap. Now, from that side, you see the shape of the ones. This one is bigger than that one. And uh, basically, yes, yeah, so that's got the little slit, and this one's got a big slot, which you can tell, but also the oval out shape. And you see that on the jack. You see that one matches up to the shape matches. But this one it, it doesn't match to the um yeah to like the overall shape. This one is smaller and then it goes across, you know, stuff like that. So then here on what it does match. So it's more triangulated and stuff like that, which it does. They know which way up it goes, not to force them and uh, put it in a uh, USB. And do not wiggle it back and forth, up and down, left, right. It's straight in uh, parallel, in and out. And if it doesn't really go, they want to flip it over, make sure it's facing right where you may want to look, especially one of these. So you look at. And you slot in, slot directly out again. So called slot directly in again. So that is how do not wiggle left and right or up and down. Just know it's yes, it's straight in and out. You don't want to ruin it, don't want to lock it in. You may have to use tweezers. The person's believed to be an idiot or a saboteur because how do you know what, 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 what goes into what? But you don't know. Alright, so, what, uh, um, this forensic, and, yeah, you could get accidents poured over time, that's what I believe. So, that is, uh, is do check the end of your, uh, charger, and uh, identify the charger link, what well, chargers come with things, to go with things, should be able to match up, especially over the same electronics from lights, phones, uh, torches, CO2s, battery, just you can obviously tell. Let's see, like here, this is a uh, battery bank, and the solar panel, so it should charge up. We got that, and got a light behind here. See, and that's why it's lighting up, it's flashing because uh, it's uh, almost a uh, church. Okay, so and can't even just do lights in this and that. So, I'll do it on another video, yeah, but how to set the light. Put the light there, onto this, and look like this. Light. Light on there is causing, on the, on the torch, it's causing it to. See, light goes off, the light to recharge the side there, off. When you put on, it restarts recharging. So, no, like indoor light, you know, like economy dads up. Cut me out, I how many of these need around the house like we church. Yeah, that, that what's USB ready to go? Uh what's a uh, plug this not to uh, where it can uh, be connected to uh, things like an inverter or a tran yeah, an inverter or a transistor to like with a socket and this not to A C D C all your <laughs> everything you want <laughs> coming to. So anyway, for now. That's uh, so note the two sides. So that one, it's a bit triangly. This one's elongated. The difference between to match up your uh, charger ends, yeah, to which goes into which. And remember, round the uh, peg in the round hole, triangle peg into triangle hole. You can get things of this name. If you're trying to be faulty, double check a Skype lie detector and terminate robots or whatever. In the meantime, Kim in the show.